Well, this is a fine mess we're in. I know, it doesn't feel like we have any control over the game. I think it's safe to assume that we're trapped in this fantasy game world. They must have been planning on using us as a lab rats from the beginning. I wonder if the rest of our friends are here too. It's likely. They're probably all just confused by whatever character roles they've been thrown into as well. We've got to find a way out of here. I don't know how much of the SIC techies told us is true, but they did say that this is a game. Uh-huh. Then it's got to have an ending, right? Maybe if we play the game and clear all the levels... It'll lead to a way out. That makes sense. With the help from the rest of our friends, we're sure to find a way home. That seems to be our best bet for now. Please look carefully at the map of Ulanneval. This is Makhad, where we are right now. And this is the target of our next battle. We're going to liberate the rest of the Vaxi Island. In order to do that, we've got to take control of Sukrut, the provincial capital to the east. I see. Sukrut is a large castle in the northern section. It's well defended and houses a large fighting force, but it won't stand a chance if we attack head on. First we've got to get them to divide up the forces. We should be able to lure some units away from the capital by liberating nearby lands. Places like Itos's Makad. We've already managed to thin out the defenses of Makad. Let's attack and force and take our first victory. Okay, what should I do? You will direct your marshals on the field of battle and attack the enemy main base, Lord Yugi. I'm certainly not as strong as you, but I will also command a team of monsters and assist you. Just remember that, that uh, none of your other marshals are nearly as powerful as you. Um, your success on the battlefield is key to the success of the resistance. Now, there are many other details to plan. Let's start with organizing our units for the difficult battle ahead. What do you mean by organizing? As you may remember, I mentioned a little while ago that enemy armies have its own marshals. Only a marshal commanding his own monster stands any chance against an enemy marshal. No matter how weak a marshal may be, he can command up to three monsters. We're fighting an enormous empire. The number and power of its monster units are just as frighteningly enormous. We must organize our own monsters into units so that we can combat the enemy. But luckily for us, we have several monsters that are willing to fight our for our cause. The first thing you need to do is organize the monsters into groups and then assign them to your marshals. Each group of monsters is called a team. Please try to remember that, Lord Yugi. Let's start assembling our teams, shall we? After the teams are assembled, it's time to send them to battle. When you are ready, please let me know. Also pay special attention to the central center monster of each team. The monster and the team leader and the team's movement speed is determined, determined by the speed of the leader. I understand. I'll start by assembling my teams. Oh, okay, we're done with the taxing for a little bit. Um, give us three marshals at the start. Yugi, Fizdis, and Simon. While at level one, I'm going to Yugi. Um, his three monsters: Celtic Guardian, Karibo, the Feral Imp. Um, I'm taking Karibo out because Karibo has horrible attack and defense, and I don't use Simon um, at all, really. And uh, you'll find out why later. So he's kind of just useless, even though he's there. So I switch for the Beaver Warrior. So this um, game basically centers around RPG. You can hold items. We don't have any right now. That will be explained later. Um, you can switch your characters around. For example, the Celtic Guardian is in the center. So he's a walking monster. His speed is going to be different. If I were to switch him with a Feral Imp, we will now be a flying type team. And um, the speed would also differ. So, um... Right now I'm just going through and I'm all set now, got my teams in order. So now I'm going to save. And we're going to
to start the battle. Give you a lovely time wizard floating around the screen. Alright, here we go. The resistance is about to engage in his first battle. Let us take the victory this day. As you can see, there are four villages, including the enemy main base at Makar and the base at Jakud. Thanks to our earlier planning, the main enemy force is much smaller than it once was and is not massed nearby. The ruler of Itos has no idea that we're ready to attack. Let's take this chance to secure our position in the area. First, send someone to free the village of Ruthu. It's not very far from Jakud. The village is filled with supporters of the resistance. It will be good, will be a good f Ah! As we <laughs> free the nearby villages from Imperial rule, they will offer us items. We need both these things to build up our force, so we should try to free as many places as possible. Currently, all of our teams are holding position in Jakud. Let's select teams to send from Jakud and then send them to Ruthud. To send a team, um, press the A and send them there. Yeah, I should have skipped this um, over this part. But anyway, then select a command for the team to go. Finally, move the cursor to the location you want the team to go and press the A button. Okay, it's time to battle. Alright, here we go. So basically, just press the A button. We're in Jakud. His team command, equipment, replenish, trader, healing. We can't ha get any of those yet. Um, go to team command. I'm going to send Fizdis. Um, to I, I don't remember what the place is called but to the north where we need to go and um, I'm gonna send Yugi out into the bushes um, because there are um, secret monsters hidden in um, different levels and it just so happens that in the first level when you send Yugi out to the east into these bushes you will find a monster as you're about to see And here we go. Grr. It's an ambush. <laughs> 